Hey everybody, um, today we're going to make a really delicious recipe and it is lasagna soup. And I love anything Italian, so this soup is, uh, in my opinion, going to be really uh, delicious. So I'll show you what all goes into it, and I'm making a large batch as I usually do uh, a lot of things so I can freeze it and have it for later uh, leftovers. Anyway, I'm using a big pack uh, of hamburger meat, and this is uh, three pounds, but it's 73% lean. Um, cottage cheese. I'm using the oven ready lasagna. Prego, and I chose Prego because for a recipe like this, I think the flavor of Prego would be perfect for it. So I had that, and I had this left over from my uh, potato pizza recipe, smashed potato pizza recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in too. Uh, it takes chicken broth, so you know I always make my own with the um, powder, the chicken powder and water. A green pepper and an onion. And then when it's finished, I'll be putting uh, Parmesan cheese and mozzarella cheese on top uh, before I serve it. So anyway, what I'm going to do is start browning my hamburger meat. I'm going to get my onion and green pepper cut up. And uh, I'll come back and show you what size I cut them and uh, show you putting them in to saute. So I'll be back in a minute. Um, I forgot to tell you when I was telling the ingredients that you need garlic salt, onion salt, and Italian seasoning. But uh, I've got the vegetables cut up. And here they are. Um, I've got the green peppers a little bigger. I'm going to saute those until they're real good and soft. But I want them big enough that you can taste the flavor, as well as the onion. Um, it's a little smaller than the green pepper, but um, it's still not tiny. So I'm going to go ahead and add, well you really can't see, but I'm going to add this to my... Um, uh, ground beef and I'm going to let that begin to saute and when it's good and uh, translucent and tender I'll come back and we'll add the rest of the ingredients. The onions and green pepper have um, sauteed up nicely and I forgot to mention that after I uh, cooked up the hamburger, I drained it because you don't want all that uh, grease in there. It really tastes terrible. But anyway, now I'm going to put this and the prego in. And you know, there's quite a bit of the sauce left in there, but we're not going to let that go to waste. I'll show you in a minute what we'll do. And I can't get the prego open. You know something has to go wrong at every video. There, I got it. And this is the flavored with meat kind. My very favorite is, um, it's three or four cheese, but um, they didn't have a bigger bottle, so I just got this. So now what we're gonna do to get the rest of that out is I'm making up the chicken broth. So I'm going to pour some of this um, powder into both jars and then fill it with water and uh, 
shake it up and then pour it in my pot and that will take care of getting um, all that excess um, pasta sauce out. There's one field. And the other. So now just put the lid on, shake it up, and I'll do the other one. And shake it up. I'll go ahead and put you down so you can see. But here it is with just the sauce in there. I hope you can see for all the steam. And we're going to put, instead of cooking our lasagna noodles in a different pot and putting them in, we're going to cook the pasta noodles straight in this. That way it picks up all of the good flavor that's in here uh, it soaks into the pasta noodles and the noodles are going to take away from the um how thin you make it because you know they take the liquid um it takes liquid to cook them so we need to make sure that whatever thickness you want your soup you add extra water um, to your pot so that uh, it will absorb, so your noodles will absorb the liquid and your um, sauce will still be the thickness that you want. And I think I totally confused myself on that, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Just make the sauce thinner than you want. And I think it needs to be even just a little bit thinner than that. Remember, this is a soup. So I'm going to put about half a jar more of water in there. And any time I cook something with um, tomato in it, I like to put a little sugar. It just helps cut that acidity. And I just like the sweet taste. My mom used a lot of sugar in cooking. And so that's where I learned it. And this is probably half a cup of Splenda in that. But you know, you don't have to put it. That's just whatever you prefer. So this is Italian seasoning, and I'm going to put probably about a tablespoon. And a tablespoon of onion powder. And a tablespoon of garlic salt. Give that a stir. Then the next thing we're going to put is cottage cheese. And this is going to make it rich and um, kind of creamy a little bit. And you know, I assume you put cottage cheese in your regular lasagna. And just put whatever you want. I put a little over a cup. I'm going to put about a cup and a half there. So what I'm going to do now is cover this and 
uh, let it very slowly simmer for about an hour. Then I'll come back with my lasagna noodles and I'm gonna break those in about inch or inch and a half pieces and put in and put it straight into the pot and let that um, cook until the noodles are done. And then it should be ready to eat. So I will see you back here shortly. The soup has um, simmered slowly for about an hour and now it's time to add the noodles in. So let me bring you down and here's what it looks like. Um, just simmering away. And it smells so good. It smells like spaghetti in a way. Of course it has spaghetti sauce in it so I'm sure that's why. But there's a lot of broth and um, sauce here. So I'm going to add the whole box of lasagna noodles. You can tweak this to fit your needs by not adding as much of the chicken broth and less noodles. Or you can have uh, less chicken broth and boil your noodles um in a pot and then put them in. As I said before, I personally like to boil my noodles in the broth because the noodles soak up all the good flavors in the pot. So, just break these up about like that and it doesn't matter if they splinter some and stuff. It's just um it's just soup. And so, well, these are flying everywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and finish breaking these up and um, let them simmer in the pot until they're tender. And let me see, it says boil uh, seven to eight minutes or until desired tenderness. So it should be about that amount of time and it'll be ready and we'll be back. Our soup is all finished and it looks and smells so good. I'll take you down and let you see in the pot how it ended up looking. Um, I think the consistency is perfect because you want soup to have, you know, a lot of broth. And this does have a lot of broth, but it's not real thin. And um, so that is our um, lasagna soup. I went ahead and put some in the bowl because uh, I wanted it to be cooling just a little bit. And uh, yesterday when I did my taste test, it burned my mouth a lot. So I was trying to get it a little cooler. And so there is that. And we're gonna put some Parmesan cheese on it and also we're going to put some mozzarella cheese on it So there it is with the toppings on it. And now, for the good part, I get to taste it. It's still hot because I can hardly hold the bowl.
trying to get some of everything on the spoon. Okay. This is divine. I would not change a single thing on it. I really think using the Prego made it be so delicious. And the other marinara that I put with it really went well with it. But this is so good. I mean, I can't think of anything you could add to it to make it any better. So I hope you give it a try. I really think that you and your family will like this. And um, anyway, uh, if you do try it, let me know what you think about it. I absolutely love it. So uh, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. Please come back and watch my next video. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.